Uh, so we're going to uh, look at a, a mechanism um, for uh, drawing the conchoid of Schluss. Um, this is the second one um, on that page. Uh, we're doing one branch of the curve. So here we, um, we're we going to have our axes as usual, and um, seems to be a common theme with some of these mechanisms. Uh, we're going to have um, a line, uh, which is going to be per per uh, parallel to the y-axis. Um, and we want to specify its distance, so we use a parallel distance constraint. Um, make that distance A. And now this mechanism has got a lot of sliding joints, but in, in effect, we're going to have a line coming up um, uh, from the origin there. And we'll have um, a structure that looks like that. There's only one fixed length here, it's going to be that length. Everything else, they're driven by sliders, so the lengths aren't um, uh, aren't maintained, but some angles are maintained. This right angle here is maintained, and a right angle here. Uh, so given that, uh, we could drive it with this angle here, uh, theta, and we could watch what happens to our uh, mechanism as we drag um drag this round. Uh, point B is the one that's going to um, trace the, the curve. Uh, so let's just uh, create the curve here as theta varies and um, B does that. And um, now we can have a look at what changing the parameter B does to that. Uh, throw it or shrink it. Let's have it. Let's have a look about that. Uh, so there it is, the conchoid of Schluss. Um, let's have a look at its equation. And we see it's a cubic, and as expected, our parameters A and B uh, feature in its equation.